What is going on, yo? It's the girl guy here. And today, I am going to be making a spore syringe out of a Thailand Kosami Super Strain from a spore print that I have right here. KSSS. This particular Thailand strain is still a uh, Cubensis species, so it's still just like pretty much all the other B plus and Golden Teachers and all the other Cubensis family. But getting these foil things are pretty hard to open. I mean, and by the way, this is just a still air box. This is not technically a glove box because the gloves are not attached. So this is just a still air environment. It is not a sterile environment. Didn't realize it took me this long to get this damn thing open. <laughs> But it's very, I narrate, because if y'all would have just heard me, y'all would laugh. But anyway. Once you get this damn thing open, there is a nice, giant, pretty sport print from a giant cat. Huge looking cat. So I'm very excited, very excited to see how these grow. So what you're gonna do, everything in here is pretty sterile, by the way, I've wiped everything down, every little thing has been wiped down in alcohol, but I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my scalpel down a little bit, especially just the blade part. And then you're gonna want to grab your print make a nice little fold in it to where all the spores will fall down in there and you just start scraping away and mind you if you have a sharp scalpel to not scrape too hard because you can rip that foil fairly easy and this is such a big print that you could make several syringes off this print. So I'm only going to use maybe a third, maybe even a quarter of this entire spore print. Set that down. Fold your print back up as quick as you can because you want to preserve that. It gets you a sterile syringe. Take that out of the package, which is extremely hard with gloves on. Props to all you nurses. Then you get a sterile needle tip or syringe tip screw that onto your syringe and then you get your distilled water that is sitting right next to you right here and this is where making my still air box didn't quite make sense it was really hard for me to get the syringe down into the top of this gallon sized jug inside of my still air box because the holes in my still air, still air box are only four inches so I gotta tilt it just a little bit but I think I got about seven eight nine cc's 
worth of distilled water in there. So you go ahead and shoot that into your um, your shot glass and suck it back up. And you'll do this two or three times because you want to kind of break those spores up a little bit. So just go back and forth. Kind of get them all into one little corner. But yeah, once you got all that sucked up, you get a nice, even, and thick spore syringe that you can make at home by yourself. No more buying syringes. All you gotta do is use your syringe, grow your mushroom, get a print, and make your own syringe.